Hi, during this session I'm going to be talking about fundamental and derived units, the essence of how we describe the universe around us. Now, the world can be described by seven fundamental units. Can you identify any of them? And also the units which describe them themselves. So, uh, let's think. To start off with, I'll introduce them. We have length, so that gives us an idea of space. We have mass, we have time, we have current, which is actually particularly useful because not just in the format of the amount of charge passing a certain point per second, but it can also be used to uh, link up uh, both uh, forces and magnetic uh, strength, field strength. So this will We'll look at that later on in the course. Uh, temperature, amount of substance, so that's obviously going to be mole, and finally luminous intensity, uh, which is uh, something which incorporates, I guess, the essence of how bright things are. So if we look at this in more detail, what units do these things have? So, these base units, uh, you can see the symbols which you may recognize. Uh, the meter is the unit for length, the second the unit for time, the kelvin for temperature, the kilogram for mass, the ampere for current, the mole for the amount of substance, and the candela for luminous intensity. So these are our base units. Now. What we've got to think about here is that with, from these base units we can derive every other type of unit which is available to us. So let's just get, look at some examples of those. Here uh, we can see area is obviously a combination of uh, length in two different dimensions, volume in three dimensions. Velocity considers uh, both length and time, acceleration, length and time again. Force can be considered as a combination of kilograms, meters and seconds. Seconds squared, in fact. So all of these uh, further units we come across in science can all be derived from a combination of those SI base units, those initial seven units which we came across. Um, some of these uh, we become very, very familiar with and we forget that they are not actually base units. Force is something we seem to use all the time, and energy. And quite often we use derived units in place uh, uh, without realizing that they've been derived from something else. So those are our units to start with. Uh, often these units come with prefixes in front of them. So these prefixes uh, are obviously identifying multiples. So we often have a multiple or a sub-multiple. So we have uh, mega, which indicates a million, kilo, which would be a thousand, centi, which would be a hundredth, milli, which would be a thousandth, micro, which would be a millionth. And you often find it that although this information is provided in the physics data book, to be able to very quickly just remember these key prefixes will probably speed up the process of you answering questions in an exam. So, with these prefixes in place, you may have to do some conversion. So, let's quickly look at conversing. Converting. There's one rule for conversion when you're going from larger to smaller quantity. Uh, what you have to do is uh, multiply by the multiple unit is the conversion factor. So. For instance, if I'm going from kilometers, uh, then I've got to recognize that a uh, kilometer is a larger unit than the SI unit, which is a meter. So if I'm going from larger to smaller, I'm multiplying by a factor. So if I have one kilometer, I multiply by a factor of 1,000, and that gives me 1,000 meters. Rule number two, if I'm converting a sub-multiple unit, so something like a millimeter into a larger SI unit, then what I have to do is to remember that I have to divide the multiple. So one millimeter is a factor of a thousand, so therefore 
if I have one meter divided by a thousand, it gives me a millimeter, and that's the relationship. Okay, so those are the quick uh, recap on units and how to make some conversions. I hope this helps.